Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel in another episode here on Monteith, Iowa. It has been a while, and it has been a while in game as well. Uh, we are nearly into fall harvest already. A lot has happened on the farm that has really restricted my ability to record over the last few months. I have a few live streams here doing some spraying, but after that last live stream, some things happened and it was really tough on us and we got through it, but um, it was busy due to that. So um, I haven't been recording, uh, but I figured now that we're into the busy season, we'll get in and start recording again. So we we're just up here at the cattle area getting some jobs done. Everybody's doing good. Steers are growing. The steers are going to be going in here soon. Be sold off. But uh, we got the girls back home. The older set. Uh, they had their calves and they're just hanging out. Enjoying life in the large pasture there. Uh, we got the initial set of heifers. They're still over in the far east pasture. And the bulls, we brought the bulls home, and they're just hanging out in their little area here as well. So everybody's happy, everybody's fed, and we're on track with those guys. So we'll head up to the farm, we'll flip the hut on. It is September 5, it is the day before hopefully we can start harvesting. And, uh, yeah, so, we will, I'll catch you guys down there so you don't have to bear with me while we drive all the way down. So we are coming up on the farm now. As you can see here, we got ourselves two new bins. We actually sold off the old bins. And bought two bigger bins these are your traditional just five ring bins um these guys here i guess we'll pull in so we're not stopping traffic those smaller bins there are five ring bins as well but they're just older older rings or older bins so they're not technically your traditional five ring bins at this point those are seven ring bins actually, but yeah, so these are some big bins here. Um They do have the drying function on these. So they are top loaded um top drying bins. Uh and then we kept these two here, so uh, we will be having to unload with an unload auger that we have yet to buy, actually. So, um, and then you just load into the top there, and then you can either transfer it over to that bin or keep it in this bin. So, it's kind of nice, because then we don't have to move auger. So, we'll be storing our corn in these, and then we got our... We'll be leaving one of the bins open for beans as well, so... Might have to do some transferring at some point if these bins do get full with corn into the other bin, which is possible, but I don't expect that to happen. We'll just walk across the road here. You can see we have something green here. This is a... This is a disc ripper here. Um, and that will be going with a, another vehicle that we have acquired over this time, over the last few months. Uh, but we'll get to the big thing, if you guys noticed. Our shop is gone. And this is really what's happened that has caused us a lot of grief over the last few months. Our shop burnt down. It was late at night. Uh, gas leak or something. I don't even, we still don't really exactly know what happened, but we got a call 
from one of our neighbors that was driving home from work. Second shift guy, he was getting home around 2 o'clock. And called me up and I didn't even answer the first time. So he gave me another ring and luckily I woke up and said, you better get down to your shop quick because it's on fire. And yeah, uh, by the time I got down here, it was pretty much all up in flames. Uh, we lost our skid steer. We lost our uh, side by side. Lost a lot of our documentation that was in the office. And yeah, so I've been working on cleaning it up. Uh, we got some old pieces of rusted out burnt metal here. Some old wood beams from the shop. Kind of tidied up. Yeah, it's pretty much just all rubble and dirt and just gross. Um, this truck was sitting right next to the shop. Like, pretty much nose in the door and just got it beaten to it. Not great. This is our this is our old international truck that we ran on the tender this summer and yeah, so this is not really working. Um it has a lot of issues. It does fire up kind of, but we're not gonna be messing with it. Uh, interior's still pretty decent, but the exterior and the engine just not great. Uh, these guys got some just kind of dirt, dirty from the smoke and the ash and stuff. But really, we're luckily we didn't lose much more than that. Uh, none of the, really none of the big machines were even in there, so we didn't lose any of that. The only big machine we really lost was that truck there, which is unfortunate. But luckily, we have two backups. Not like we lost our sprayer. Luckily, it was sitting outside here in the yard. And, yeah, so that was rough. Uh, we got our insurance money, about $150,000 for um, the loss of our shop. Um, we actually ended up putting that into bins. <laughs> that money into bins. Um, we're not sure what we want to do about a shop at this point. Um, do we want to put something up that's the same? Maybe something a little bit bigger? I mean, we had that shop for less than a year. So, uh, yeah, we're not really sure, but... Probably this fall, or this winter slash spring, we'll probably start looking at putting something else up. Because we did enjoy having that shop. So... We'll head over here. Oh, we did get gravel put down as well. Kind of landscaped this out. Used the case loader and just kind of smoothed it out. Took a lot of that grass out and put some gravel down, which is nice. So, we're happy about that. You don't really need the shop doors open at this moment, so. Almost forgot where the door was. So this is our new purchase. This is a quad track, a 470. This is a used. Uh, the four on the side is just a decal. Uh, the guy that we bought it from, it's like his lucky number or something. Uh, so it, he just put that on there and we haven't removed it yet. So, um, but yeah, it's uh, 200 or 520 horsepower or something like that. Really nice. Has 20.2 in-game hours or something like that so I think we ended up buying it for 220,000 is what we ended up purchasing it for so I mean one of these new is 400,000 maybe sometimes so we we got a deal on it uh, I'm very happy about it and this is what's going to be pulling that deer disc ripper which is also a used uh, purchase so so that money that uh, we got back from the shop burning down, we've put into some different things. Um, the purchase of the quad track there was purely, we just took out a bank loan, an operating loan or an equipment loan or whatever. So that's a 15 year loan for this 
tractor here. So manageable payments. Got good standing with the bank, so we're we're happy about that. So yeah. Now I'm kind of lost of what I was gonna do, so we have something coming tomorrow. We have a demo coming. It's a second combine that we are going to be running on beans this year. Purely beans. We're just, we're going to leave corn to. We don't. We won't have the demo for corn, so we'll be running corn with just the case with our combine back there. We need to kind of shuffle some equipment around, start getting the head looked at, get the combine all ready for beans and stuff. If we're going to start running tomorrow, so. Just wanted to check in with you guys today. I'm planning on recording mostly all of it. We might throw a live stream in there as well of harvest. So I know it's been a while, but we really wanted to finish off this year and uh didn't want to leave this leave you guys hanging. So uh we'll catch you guys probably tomorrow when we're starting to get going or when that uh demo shows up, which we're really excited about. Hey guys, welcome to October. Look at all that brown. You love to see it. That means it's the best time of the year. It's harvest season. We got <coughs> we got some stuff here, folks. <laughs> the demo is not here yet, but we went and picked up a another third truck. And we got ourselves a Freightliner 120. This is a 13 speed manual transmission. How we like them around here. We are just going to pull her around. We need to get it hooked up to that. Uh, Timpty there, that Timpty trailer, and we need to get it washed up. But yeah, this is it. This is our new to us truck. Freightliner 120. So this is a mod by AJ Deer. You can find it in this Discord. It's a really good mod. AJ Deer does a really good job on his um, on his mods. So props to him and thank you for publicly releasing he, the trucks that you have in your in your discord they're fantastic lots of options and yeah really cool so i actually drive one of these in real life as well uh, this is what it runs on our tender truck or this is our tender truck on the farm that i work on so um it would pretty much be sitting on one of those uh except it's a kbh brand tender two hopper deal just pretty much exactly like that uh, and then this truck is all white on the farm that I work on, but I kind of like the black accent fenders, so. So yeah, this is the truck that's going to be replacing the International. I think eventually we'll just, I don't know what we're going to do with the International, but eventually we'll figure something out. Go hook up the hoses. Old glad hands and the electrical. I need to swing this around to the other side. This needs a wash. Bad. Not the truck, the trailer. <laughs> We're gonna spend some time doing that, and hopefully by the time that that is finished, we are. Our demo will be here. Uh, I got a call and the guy said he's running behind a little bit, but should be here in the next hour. So pretty much when he gets here, we're going to, we should be ready to go. So uh, we got the truck hooked up to the head, as you can see, we'll just leave the truck going. The, uh, the Macdon, the Combine is pretty much ready to go. Spent a lot of time yesterday getting that fixed. Or not fixed, but serviced. Uh, the Magnum was hooked up to the grain cart. The 
case the new quad track is hooked up to the ripper so those guys are ready to go for the tillage guys the 97 or 9370 is still going to be running on that case ripper yeah things are pretty much ready to go um however we need some room behind these bins remember how we swung around into the field last year and uh loaded the uh, augers from the field we got to take some of that corn out so we're gonna get this the case hooked up to the corn head and we're just gonna clear some of that corn out and we'll just sell it off i mean it's not gonna be a lot but we'll just sell it off right off the field so that we have enough room to drive around and run our trailers and our semis around there and fill them up. I tried my best to get a position where I could fill those back bins right there, but I just could not. I couldn't do it. Couldn't figure out a way. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to take uh, some corn out so we can drive through that field. So I'm going to get this washed up spend some time doing that and uh, we'll see you guys here once the demo shows up or that we're getting some corn taken off quick before we run some beans alrighty so seeing as our demo has yet to arrive we are going to get this little bit cut out of the field quick Head down. We're just going to take a little bit out here on this side. Got to be really careful. Getting or going down the side of that upper bottom there. We parked it a little bit close to the field. Nobody saw that. Just pretend you didn't see it. Like a glove. Like a glove. Nobody saw anything. It was perfect. Just to give ourselves a little bit more room, we're just going to do the, all of this all the way around here. Just like that. Sorry for the silence. Just focusing. Just making sure we get it right. Got a lot of things to not hit here. Bin fans. Electrical poles. Fences. And we managed to grab this little bit here. I don't we're gonna get too close. There we go. We'll do one more of those. Brushing that tree a bit as we back up, no big deal, right?
This is really quite a uh, job. <laughs> right there in that corner, that's tight. Between the fence and all that stuff. And to cut it and angle it off here. Don't really want to be taking too much out. Ideally. Not great yields though. What's going on there? I wonder. A bit strange. And the orange. We put too much fertilizer down? I don't know which way we are. Are we too far? I'm con I'm confused. Slightly confused about why we're in the orange and not the green right now. Everything should be perfect. Very strange. Also curious why we're not showing bushels. Why are we showing tons right now? We should have the like edited version of combine experience in here now. Yeah, this is odd. But I think that should be enough to get trucks turned in. Okay. Can't be missing like that. At least I hope. Now we can at least get this, uh... This hopper bottom <laughs> hooked up, taken care of. Hop out and get this tarp uncovered. Let's see. We get our depth perception right? Ah, we did. Looky there. Oh, look at that. We're like almost perfect. Put that, put that spout down a little bit though. Proud of us. Proud of us for getting that done. Oh yeah, and also we <laughs> we had the different bins in here. So we had the Sioux ones with the red auger. Those weren't dryer bins. I put the wrong bins in, so we replaced them with the actual bins that have a drying function. Just so you know. Just wanted to update you on that one. Hold the head up. Should be able to park this back in, back in the old shed. Man, you can't see anything with this head on, can you? It's pretty great though that you don't have to put it on a trailer every time. Do very much appreciate that. We are just going to put this right here for now. Right behind the sprayer. 
everything unhooked. Drop it off. Hopefully back out without causing any damages. And that job is done for the day. And now we have to go grab another truck. Shut the combine down for now. And hook up that other upper bottom. So we're going to be running the GMC. Oh, we did get a paint job done on this guy. Doesn't it look good? Oh, she looked real good. A lot you guys missed, I'll tell you what. The old general is looking fresh. Probably would be beneficial of us to put the freight liner on this on this hover bottom. Because this one holds more. And that freight liner has more more under the hood, as they say. Than this truck, but we have that one hooked up already, so we'll run it like this for now. Uh, and shut this down. And now we gotta get this auger and everything set up. See how that goes. Well, what do you guys think? This is our demo for the fall. The New Holland CR 890. Very similar horsepower to our 8250. Very similar cab and setup and everything like that as well. So, yeah, I don't know. I think I think it's going to be good. Uh, one of the major differences is that this machine is on tracks. Uh, we've never had a tracked machine before on this farm, but... Uh, that, that is one major difference and one thing that we actually really wanted to try out because we heard that it's really good for soil compaction and all that stuff um, through wet ground and but I have heard that on the roads it's a, not nearly as comfortable but in the field it just it feels like it glides across the field so the tailboard's a bit different than our than ours We'll see what that does when it comes to the distribution of chaff out the back and stuff. But yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a try. The exhaust system and on these two machines are very, very similar. As you see. So, yeah. I don't know if we'll go with this machine. Uh, as a second combine, but definitely worth a try. Uh, I mean, it's past noon already. We've been sitting here talking with the rep for about an hour and a half now. And he was just kind of giving me the rundown, showing me how everything works. Took me through the head. This is a 40-foot New Holland head. Draper head. With the Cray wind system on it as well. So that'll be interesting to try as a wind system. I heard they're really, really great in beans for blowing the beans back onto the head. So looking forward to giving that a go. So uh, we have it hooked up to the grain cart right now. I think that's how we're probably going to transport it from field to field is with the grain cart because we're going to have the pickup on the other head, the back on, so yeah, we'll uh, I think we're going to start get rolling uh, we might even just start right here in this field might just run the New Holland on this it's a smaller field and then probably in all the rest of the bigger fields we'll bust out both and 
and do it that way. So we'll get everything going and I'll catch you guys once I'm feeling comfortable in this machine. <laughs> Hopefully everything goes smooth. Alrighty, so we're starting to feel comfortable on this machine now. I'm liking it so far. Uh, we're running a pretty steep angle on these beans. Because they are still kind of tough. Uh, being the first field off of the year, it's still just really on that edge of green or green and ready, you know. So, uh, a little bit tougher. Uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing from the air system on the front. Um, the chopper on the back just absolutely tosses it out there. So the straw distribution is really good, it seems. We're going to run back this way, take this headland off another, another pass so we have more room to turn because we're going on the angle there. But, yeah, so far so good. I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. The tracks are very comfortable. Um, we unloaded once already. And that was nothing out of the ordinary. So it was good. Yeah. I mean, overall, it, it's, a, it's a good running machine so far. But, I mean, we have not even an hour on it yet. So... <laughs> Or we're lucky that we get to have an extended trial of this machine and hopefully we can really get a good understanding of what this what this machine does we've heard really good things about it um, especially in beans we hear I've, I've heard that it's even better in beans than what our case is so I don't know. I mean, the, the the big difference between these two machines is the twin rotor, obviously, versus the single rotor, the axial flow mechanic on the case. Um, this is more mechanically driven, which some people say is more efficient compared to the hydraulic uh, system that runs with the axial flow but then you could make the argument that there's a lot more moving parts with the uh, with the with this machine compared to the axial flow so yeah I don't know there's arguments either way but uh, like I said we're we're lucky to have an opportunity to run this machine here this fall so uh, the reason why we wanted it for beans is just to get through the beans quicker uh, we don't feel like we have we would have a real capacity issue with our grain car in our trucks keeping everything moving with two combines running 40 foot heads on beans um, compared to in corn if we ran two if we ran two machines in corn we would probably have a possible issue which then we would have to possibly up upgrade grain carts get another truck all that kind of stuff so the main thing is to get another machine for us to get through beans a little bit quicker so then we can get into corn a little bit quicker so yeah I mean can you justify spending a quarter of a million plus on, I mean, nearly half a million with the head and the combine just to run it in beans? I don't know, but we're in a situation where we don't exactly have to think about that right now, so... Yeah, we're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it so far, though is going going very smoothly and hopefully it continues to go that way so we are closing in on finishing up here this field 
Got a ton left. Probably one more pass, and then a little bit down there at the end. I don't think we'll be able to get all of that there at the end. <coughs> On the south side there. You can see we missed some right there. And we were going down the end. That is one thing that have, has been a negative so far. Uh, kind of where the field starts to get uneven. The self-leveling head system doesn't seem to be as active or accurate as what our case is. I, we've never had an issue right there with the case, so I don't know. I don't know what happened right there, but uh, it's definitely something to keep an eye on as we continue running this machine, but yeah, other than that, it's, it's going good. No complaints. So, we'll finish up this field. We did dump again on the grain cart. Um, we'll finish up this field and then we'll get moved to the next field. Which is actually going to be right over by the house and by the cattle over here. We'll take out this field or that one first. We'll, we'll see. Once we get over there, we'll kind of see what f which one we're thinking is going to be better. Um, we might even run one combine here, one combine here, <laughs> just because we can get that get that little field finished up really really uh, quick. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be the plan. We're going to move kind of farther away down here. We'll get all three of these fields done uh, within the next day or two, probably within the next day. So by October 2, we should have all of these fields done. We'll definitely get this one done today, and then probably half or all of this one done today. So kind of the plan, at least, hopefully... Everything goes smooth with moving field and stuff like that, so... The... Another thing that I didn't talk about is how this head has its own... Uh, transportation system on it. It has those wheels, uh, wheels on it like that. Those are... Pretty slick. And they say you don't have to haul around another cart. It just kind of has its own thing. I mean, it's not really a big deal. But... Just another convenience, so. It's one of the very few plant, or, uh, draper heads that I've seen that have this, that system. There's these CNH heads by, I've seen a Case brand one, and I've seen a new Holland, this New Holland one, but I've never seen any other brands have that kind of system, so that's pretty, pretty unique to these to these heads that's pretty cool too but as we finish up here we'll start getting stuff together to get moved down to the field and we'll catch you guys again once we get down there alrighty so the whole crew is here we've moved, we've all set up you're doing what we said, where we're running one combine in each field. Green cart should be able to keep up with both like this. I mean, I don't even, it almost feels like the case will hardly even have to dump, but because it's such a small field. Uh, these are tricky fields because they're just very uneven ground. So to get trucks in and out of here and stuff like that, it's just kind of a a nuisance. Uh, it's not it's not the easiest thing in the world. So I had to kind of turn them around in the field, and yeah, it's just it's one of those where. You'd wish it would be uh, a little bit easier, but it's not, so. <laughs> the 
Yeah, this head is really struggling on some of these areas of uneven ground. Definitely my biggest complaint and one that really is not not great. <laughs> is we have a lot of ground here on the north side of the highway that's uh, not very flat. Very, very different terrain. So it's one thing that I don't know if it's a settings thing or what that I don't have right, but yeah, there's that was just the second time that's happened. So one time in each field isn't great. Looks like case has already finished up with its pass in the first round. Not really a whole lot of rhyme or reason to these fields, so we just kind of makes make the rounds and then and then start on the up downs. Obviously, that's how we usually do it, but you know we like to do our headlands right, and then we like to start making our up downs instead of doing the circle thing. Oh. Good view from up here, though. Good at the house. Good the see the landscape. You can even see south of the river over there. Pretty neat. Looking forward to running these combines in the same field, though. Hopping into this next field here about in two hours or so once we're done with all this it'll be kind of fun so I am very much looking forward to that seeing the red and the yellow run side by side they'll be pretty slick I think done with our headlands now If we can get swung over here that we can unload somewhere. He's definitely going to be done before us. Which is fine. And then... Got to start getting some trucks turned into here. We can get them loaded. Probably going to need to get the case unloaded at some point. Like I said, I don't know if it's even going to need an unload. <laughs> it's got a... looks like a six point. Looks like a six point buck right outside my window. They're all coming out of the corn. They took the headlands off the other day. Right before a snow hit. What, three days ago? In this field. That's right by my house. And now I see a bunch of deer coming out of there all the time. If my GPS did, my GPS line is good. I think we're going to miss some down there at the end. We're going to have to come swing back and grab. So definitely let me know what you guys think about the, the demo combine so far. You guys think it's a good one? Early thoughts on uh, uh, purchase. I don't know. I'm gonna upload like I did. Say, I did kind of promise that I'm gonna upload my save game. Uh, for you guys to play. So maybe I'll leave that choice up to you guys. If those of you that want to. Play the save, continue on. Maybe we'll leave it up to you and you can kinda let me know 
keep me updated on what you guys did. If you purchased the demo, if you stuck with one combine, go in a different direction, did you end up buying another case combine, you know, all the good stuff. So I'm trying to set the farm up to be ready to go for the next the next uh, owner farm manager whatever you want to call it so be kind of cool if some of you actually do play on it really look to or I really look forward to seeing what you guys do we're just opening up this field here quick we can get into it the trucks and other combine, green car, all that stuff. We do have rain coming this evening. About, I think it was eight or nine. go just kind of gives us a spot to work debating on throwing some fuel in the like new Holland but that'll take a long time so we might not I think we can should be able to make it we'll leave this going right now and we'll Wait for the other guys to get down here, then we need to run a truck down to the bins that we filled with beans. Alrighty, everybody's moved down. So now we just gotta haul this truck load up to the bins quick, and then we'll come back and we'll start on this field. Didn't take all too long. But, like I said, I'm looking forward to running these two combines side by side. It'll be pretty, pretty slick. Oh, I don't know if we'll get done. That's some good sounds. The screech in in the air. That's good. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll get done with this field. Seems like it would go relatively quick, but I'm not sure with the rain coming. Beans are very moisture sensitive, so they can get pretty tough pretty quick. Especially when the sun goes down. A lot of the time, once the sun goes down, it's like, almost feels like it happens in an instant that the beans are just, starts to get too tough to run. Especially early on in the season. But we'll be busy tomorrow morning getting a layer of fertilizer spread on these fields so that the uh, the tillage guys can come in and uh, incorporate that into the soil. So that's going to be the plan for tomorrow morning. But I think once we get this unloaded, probably going to be it for this episode. I guess it was a good, should be a pretty good length for a kind of a return episode, I guess you could call it. This could be kind of tricky. You gonna dump in there? I don't know if we got close enough. Yeah, we may not have gotten close enough. Might have to redo this. 
Alrighty, so there we go. We are dumping. So, with that being said, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys are happy about the short return of this series. We can wrap it up. I actually had a blast playing on this again. Uh, I really enjoyed this series. Just needed a little break from it and been enjoying the uh, on the map challenge. So, uh, thank you guys to the or thank you to the YouTube channel members. As always, you guys are awesome. Uh, if you're still here and haven't hit the like button, please do. Uh, if you are not subscribed and you are still here, please hit that subscribe button. Helps the channel out tremendously. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.